It called this Congress the most unproductive in 164 years. Both Obama and Bush had passed what the magazine calls consequential legislation by this point in their first terms. Look who's here. Congressman Louis Gohmert, Republican from uh, the great state of Texas. Um, all right, Louis, let me start out like this. People who voted for the Republican Party feel betrayed. They feel that the Republican Party has failed them. Not you in the Freedom Caucus, not the moderates, the party this as party. a whole. They feel it's failed. What do you say? Well, <laughs> Stuart, I feel the same way. I don't just feel their pain. I feel the same way. I mean, it's unbelievable how many... How many people? It's everybody said, you put us in the majority, we will repeal Obamacare. We'll repeal Obamacare. McConnell himself said, we'll repeal a root and branch. And we got the chance, and Trump's leading the charge. He's helping us. And what's happening? Well, we just don't think we can did get there. So well, I love what the president's doing. He's going to have every one of the senators there. And I hope, Stuart, the message is going to be, look, you all promised you would repeal it if you got the majority and you got it and you voted for repeal in the last Congress and now I'll sign it as soon as you vote to repeal it. You better not have been lying to your constituents because you're going to get the chance to vote okay. to repeal to yep, keep you your promise. Okay. And if you don't, we're going to find somebody that will That's keep healthcare. their promise. Let's, let's yeah. talk tax cuts. Now, and because that, I think we got to do them both. You, you, I think we okay, got to do them both. But you've got to get together. You've got to act yeah. as a governing party, regardless of differences sure. within the party. Now, are yeah. you? Is, is the Republican Party prepared to do this, or are you well, going to say, "Oh, I'm in principle, I just can't do this"? Well, I actually think that there are people within the Republican Party in this building I'm standing in who are not interested in seeing Trump succeed. And I tell you what, it's not about Trump succeeding. It's about the American people succeeding because Trump succeeds. So they've got to put aside those things. If we can get the tax code to 15 percent, jobs will explode yes. in this country. We'll get back manufacturing. We'll get back all these things yeah. we need, and they'll get reelected. They have got to put aside their petty differences and their little worries and squabbles. And you, Trump has a great plan. You we need to enact it. We've got all, to. You we have got to. You all have to. You Absolutely. all have to accept compromise. Okay, i, I got to move well, on now, to wait this. Wait a minute. You said accept compromise. I'll compromise on the little things, but on the big things like actually repealing Obamacare, care and getting something that, that saves lives, you know, we can repeal, we can compromise on the little things, but we got to repeal and we got to do the tax reform, okay. major cuts. We can't have little tweaks on the cuts. They got to be major cuts. No compromise on that. Okay. We hear you, Louis Goma. You're still a good friend of the, fr of the show. We appreciate you being <laughs> here. Thank you, sir. Thank you.